time is irreversible and irreplaceable. Time is life. If you waste time, you are wasting your life. Welcome to this channel. Hello everyone, my name is Musawir. This video is made a response video to the post which I made earlier on the video flow. Many of you guys mailed me about sharing spreadsheets and uh, other side techniques that I use while studying. Uh, if you didn't read the post, the link is in the description below. You should check the post. Initially, I thought of making a single video with the topic, but I felt it would take hours. So from today, we will start a series of videos which will take you on a journey of productivity and effective study techniques. This is the first video in which we will talk about time management and how to set your schedule. All the methods that I'll mention are scientifically proven methods. I will talk some of the evidence behind them. Their link will be also in the description below. So let's get straight away started. Three. Two, one. Okay, let's go. In 1922, a British psychologist recruited five dozen patients for an experiment. Patients were around 60 years old. All these patients have undergone knee or hip replacement surgeries. And recovering from these kind of surgeries is difficult, but it's essential that patients should exercise during healing process or the scar tissue will clog their joint, destroying flexibility. But the agony is elderly people do not exercise and have a high chance of failure. Scientists conducting the experiment gave every patient a booklet which contained 13 pages, one page for each week and they were supposed to write what are their goals for the week and write when to go for a walk and when to do other things etc. Some patients did write and some didn't. These scientists computed the recoveries of the patients who wrote their plan and goals on the booklet with the patients who received the same booklet but didn't write anything. Surprisingly, the scientists found that the patients who wrote the plans on the booklets were walking almost twice faster than the other patients who didn't write anything. And they were doing their activities like wearing shoes, doing laundry by themselves. This was a great discovery. Failing to plan is planning to fail. Planning is bringing the future in the present so that you can do something about it now. These are the quotes by Alan Lekin. Alan Lakin is an author on personal time management. He has written many books which include Give Me a Moment, I Will Change Your Life, How to Get Control of Your Life. So what does planning do? Planning prepares the mind for what to do in future. By planning you will control your time otherwise time will control you. I think I persuaded motivated you to pre-plan. Let's come to the pragmatic approach of planning. Nature has built us in a clock known as circadian rhythm or circadian clock or simply biological clock. It is not that accurate. This circadian clock is the reason why we fell asleep at the times we go to sleep daily and why we feel hunger at certain times. Everything that we do habitually is synchronized with this clock. To do something regularly, we need to adjust our biological clock. First thing that you had to do is to fix your sleep. That you, have, you should have fixed timing for sleep and waking up. It will set your biological clock. For me, that time is for sleeping around 9 to 10 p.m. and waking up around 4 to 4.30 a.m. Don't keep a point of time, rather have a range of time, like 9 to 10 for sleeping, as this clock is not that precise and you won't get disappointments on not meeting the goals. Before sleeping, do not use mobile phones. As for sleeping, pineal gland secretes a neurochemical known as melatonin, which makes you sleep, and it is secreted more in less light. Our body cannot differentiate between artificial light and natural light. So, make hourly spreadsheet from time you wake up to the time you go to sleep, like this. Same sheet is given in the description below. Adjust that according to your time. First, write the things you do every day, like eating, washing, etc. A lot of time for everything, even a lot of time for social media, and keep room to do the things which may pop up at any time. For me, the boxes that I color in yellow or the activities I have to do daily. Anything that is not planned and pops up goes into the 4 to 5 p.m. time slot. Leave other hours at blank. These are your work hours or study hours. A day before. Probably when you go to sleep, figure out what you want to achieve for the other day. For example, as a student aspiring gate in computer sciences, you want to read about algorithms and you want to cover time and space complexity. 
say you are following code man for algorithms see how many pages do you have to read to understand that concept say 40 else if you're watching videos seeing how many hours is this topic covered and how many practice problems are there regarding this say 30 for every subject in gate computer science I have scope of subjects from geek for geeks and gate overflow along with the number of practice questions separate sheet is like this this row estimates how much time will you require to do this subject I assume that at average a question takes three minutes too but you can adjust this accordingly by adding this field multiplying by your number instead of three separate sheets containing this information can be found by clicking the link given the description say it takes five minutes at average to read a page that means you will roughly require 250 minutes for 50 pages that's nearly four hours and for a problem at average you require three minutes so it will require 90 minutes these estimations are for myself you have adjust accordingly total time will be roughly around five or six hours this time varies from person to person you will have to find your own time and estimate roughly how many hours you will require first read the theory and then practice the question how to read take notes practice effectively these are topics that we will be covering soon now spend these hours in your study hours for me from 5 to 6 a.m read first 10 pages and then from 6 to 7 read 10 to 20 etc and here note on the minutes you study don't use clock but after finding out average time you took to study a page or video duration then see how many pages you read in this time slot that's from 5 to 6 so effective time will be number of pages multiplied by time to read a page say you read 7 pages in this slot of hour then you had to multiply 7 into 5 that is 35 minutes of effective time this will increase your focus also else if in case of videos write the duration of video if you watch the video at normal pace in this way you will track your effective time not fooling yourself by estimating reading for 10 hours and achieve nothing my separate sheet for July is in the description make adjustment in that according to your time or you can make your own now same thing can be applied for the people not studying but doing some projects or running some business so summarizing the key points first fix your time of sleeping and waking second a day before plan your goals and make rough estimations about how much time will they require third spend them over your work time you can make goals for a day like me or weekly or monthly but they will consume huge amounts of time and planning for gate computer science students spreadsheets are down below thank you for getting till end of the video if you want me to continue this series like the video 50 likes tell me to continue this series there will be a video every week then if you have any question or you want any other topic to be discussed in the videos comment below if i earned your subscription and do subscribe and press the bell icon and if you don't feel like subscribing no problem at all anyway thank you for watching the video this is Musa signing off